Hey girlfriend, this is Jan James. Welcome to the Hope After Breast Cancer podcast, where women who have endured breast cancer learn to have fulfillment over frustration, clarity over confusion, and faith over fear. We tackle the issues that many of our sisters face after a breast cancer diagnosis, from brain fog to fear of recurrence, from menopause to sex after breast cancer. This is the place to learn how to have hope after breast cancer. So strap yourself in. Welcome to the Hope After Breast Cancer podcast. Hi, everyone. It's Jan James from Hope After Breast Cancer. And our friend, Dr. Jane Marquis, who is a naturopathic doctor from Toronto, Canada, is with us today. Hi, Jane. Hey, Jan. Nice How to be you. Good. Good. I'm excited about this video because we were talking about this a few weeks ago and I was like, I am not an exerciser, so this is really interesting. We're going to talk about rebounding. So tell me a little bit about that and why it's great for you. Right? So I I found out about rebounding. I always knew about it, but I took up trampoline a few years ago as a fun exercise, and I was shocked at the amazing exercise I got from it. Like in half an hour, it felt like I had done a full-on aerobic workout and so I started to research about trampoline and it led me to rebounding Mm -hmm. and I knew about the lymph system and the lymph is moved by by uh, exercise and it gets really moved by rebounding so you know with the g-force when you hit the trampoline head and then so this is a this is a mini trampoline right it's one of those mini trampolines as a rebounder is that right yeah, okay, yeah, which gotcha. is way more, which is way easier. You can keep, you can have one in your home. They can, you know, right, hold yeah. up and under the up bed, the whatever. <laughs> under the bed, yeah, right. yeah. So I started out on a big trampoline, but then I, I also have a rebounder now because I've discovered how amazing it is. So the lymph, it, it needs exercise to move, and the lymph is, you know, part of our the lymphatic system is the tonsils, the thymus. Um, the lymph and lymph nodes, but bone marrow as well. And what it does is it moves toxins away from healthy organs and gets them flushed. It helps get them, move them to where they can be flushed out of the body through sweat and urine and that kind of thing. So it's super important to get your lymph flushed and it doesn't move on. It doesn't have a pump on its own. So you need to exercise in order to to have it do its do its thing and move properly and and detox the way it's meant to do. So super important. And so the rebounder then, because you're bouncing, like you said, it's G force. So that's yeah. going to force the fluid through the lymphatic system to move just with that up and down movement, right? You don't have to go for a run or whatever, that kind of thing, or do heavy duty cardio. Well, that would do it as well, but it's far more efficient. So Mm -hmm. rebounding is one of the most efficient ways of doing it. Okay, I know. Yeah, and you, yeah, the reason you want to do it is because its purpose is to move toxins away from healthy organs and help them flush out of the system. I just never knew that, Jane. That's so interesting. So let me talk to you about the women that I serve. So, so many of them, uh, you know, all of them have had breast cancer and many of them have had, you know, it could be like zero to 28 lymph nodes taken, right? So if they're if their nodes have been dissected and um, they have very few left uh, to be able to move that lymphatic fluid. There's a lot of girls with lymphedema, you know, you're familiar with that, I'm sure. And, and would rebounding, gentle rebounding help with that? They should see their GP or their yeah, PT? I, or... I would ask because everyone's in a different situation. Right. And, but still, I, the body is amazing how it will work with what it has to do what it needs to do so how and it, interesting and, yeah. Yeah. yeah and we all need exercise so right. and you can do it as gently or you know depending again on the individual so and I'm sure that good. Google University has lots of rebounding 
kinds of videos, but all, and I've seen some of those. In fact, I you know when it's a bunch of chicks in a room that are all doing it at once, it's very impressive. Looks like the Rockettes, if anybody remembers that. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> so so, but it's interesting to know that you could just do it to music or however you oh. want to do it, right? Oh yeah, it's super fun. Wow. I mean, yeah, just just gentle bouncing and then you can lift your arms out at 90 which gives your arms a workout and up above your head and twisting and jogging and you know going to into what squat jogging, jogging? Jo sorry jogging, oh, jogging. <laughs> yeah. I you said jogging. <laughs> that's yeah, i'm thinking downward dog for yoga but that was <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's okay. Well, I'm actually tempted to really ask my husband for a rebounder for Christmas now. Hmm. Yeah. We'll and there's, see what happens. There's lots of different ones and different price points. I, I love a Bellicon because it, it's like, it doesn't have the springs. So it doesn't squeak when you bounce, which oh, is, good, which is that's, nice. That's Some good info. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and the other really amazing thing about it is it builds bone better than any other exercise as well because of the g-force so there's been women that have been menopausal with really low bone mass and they've rebuilt it with rebounding most efficiently and after uh not like uh, um, people come back from space that the you know from a, a flight yeah. into space they often lose bone mass and it's I've one of that them, i think yeah yeah yeah, so they, they've also used it uh, to oh, be Oh, interesting. So, so yes, yeah. yeah, so I, you know, it's, and I appreciate you saying that about the bone loss because many of our women are either in chronological menopause or medically induced menopause. I yeah. think a zillion of us have to have bone density tests every year. A yeah. bunch of girls are on prolia and all those kinds of things. So this is a more natural way to increase bone density rather than doing the prolia or the shots or that kind of thing, right? Yeah, and to combine it at the very least. And, right, you know, exactly, so, good. Because well, you do awesome. need exercise to build bone. Right, so. and isn't it, it's weight-bearing exercise that uh, promotes bone? Well, yeah, bone normally, bearing. but the, and then this is the other more efficient way because of the G-force and it affects, every you know every tiny muscle in your body whereas when you're doing weight bearing exercise you can only target the muscles that you're you know using at the in the at that time like your arms right. if you're using weights but when you rebound it you it it's um, affecting the whole body that's great hey i'm i'm gonna throw you a curveball because and we didn't discuss talking about this but I know that women, as they age, um, have trouble with balance. So, you know, those half balls, I don't know what they're called, but they're flat on top, but they're, it's about, it's a ball on the bottom. Yeah. I don't have yeah. a, something. In, do you know what I'm talking yeah. about? So you stand on that to help like um, surfing. activate yeah. your core and, and just, do you, are you a fan of those? Uh, rebounding is better to help oh, with balance. To help with so, balance. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, so it's really important as women age or as people age to do this kind of exercise to keep balance, strength, bone mass, lymph flowing, really important. Very so, cool. Very cool. Yeah, that, so, this was not a topic that I expected I would ever learn about, but I'm really grateful that you brought it up and are sharing with us. So thank right? you, Jane. Appreciate that. I love this. So saunas... <laughs> Uh -huh. Now we've covered rebounding, mm -hmm. you know, we can talk about water. Yeah, so that's great, everything. good. Yeah. Well, until next time, ladies, we'll see you then, okay? Thanks again, Jane, for being a contributor. You're so welcome. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Girlfriend, thank you so much for listening to our podcast. I hope you found some nuggets to encourage you and give you hope. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. You never want to miss an episode. And we'd love to know how we're doing, so please be sure to leave us a review. Until next time, this is Jan James encouraging you to remember there is hope after breast cancer. See you next time. <laughs>